What's going on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to be pointing out three major things that I wish I would have known about before I got into cybersecurity. The first thing for sure is networking. When I first got into college um, I was under the impression that I was just going to somehow sail through college and only learn cybersecurity. Well, that just was not the case. Um, I repeatedly had networking classes that I had to take and learn about. Uh, but me, being a little bit stubborn, pushed off these classes. Uh, I didn't want to do them. So as college progressed, I started to realize a theme that it was becoming very important and crucial for me to understand the networking basics at a at least the CCNA level. And I'm going to repeat that often because I think it's so vital, not necessarily that you get the cert, but that you're at that level. Even at the end of my educational career, I even noticed that I was still kind of trying to push off networking. I got out of college and I still had professors that were uh, advising for me to do um, some of the network certifications before the Security Plus. It paid out to my benefit um, that I did retain some of the knowledge that I was learning in college because I was able to take um, a security certification, pass it even without actually getting a network certification. But I'll explain to you why that even was not enough. I found out very quickly in my first job that my lack of networking knowledge needed to be sharpened and need to be sharpened on the fly uh, while I was learning this work. It's not recommended to do it this way. And this is one of the reasons I'm making this video is because you don't want to get yourself in the position where you're stressed out with a new job and you're trying to learn things that you feel like you should already know. Now, I'm that kind of guy. I like to have a challenge. So I did take on the challenge. And of course, within a month or two, I got myself to where I thought I should have been uh, entering into cybersecurity um, and engaging in conversation about networking and actively participating and also sharing some ideas of how to secure um, the network at the particular location that I was currently working for. Now, number two is going to be financial compensation expectations. So what do I mean by that? I mean, when we get into some type of educational um, career path, we begin to be told by um, universities as well as professors that maybe we're going to be getting a little bit higher compensation than really what is reality in uh, today's world. The reality is you need a little bit of experience. Now, every job is going to prioritize this experience. So you need to have um, your expectations set at a level that is respectable for um, what you bring to the company. So when you get out of college, you just think about it. You're not somebody that has any type of real life experience. You have um, some education. Now, this even applies to those who are in uh, certification, you know, paths that are going to uh, try to get into security that way. Um, either way, you have no experience and you're trying to get in. So do not set your expectation too high on what your salary is going to be um, getting into the field. Now, I do want to tell you um, my guesstimate of what I think a um, entry-level security uh, analyst or engineer or technician should be making. So, what I think you should be making out of college is about anywhere from fifty to sixty-ish thousand dollars. That is a good starting point and a good pay scale for somebody with no experience. And I also would say that you should be expecting to get that kind of compensation. And if you aren't, I would uh, you know, recommend negotiating to get into that pay range. Um, it doesn't matter that you don't have experience. The work that you do is still important enough to be in that range.
That being said, there are areas of the country and I'm sure of the world, um, for instance, the Bay Area, as well as New York, where you will see these pay um, scales a little bit higher because the cost of living is higher. Um, so they just kind of go hand in hand. So just be understanding of that moving forward. And I think you'll be in a better predicament uh, mentally um, with your expectation. That being said, this is not to discourage anybody who wants to get into this field. Um, we all need to make money. Uh, that's just the way of the world. And, um, you know, it's one of the driving factors for the reason we pursue certain careers um, and paths. So that being said, I do want to point out that while the first couple of years you may be at a starting salary, which is still fairly well paid for the average person, might I note, um, you're going to see after a couple of years that that salary is going to start to go up pretty quickly. And uh, then you will start to see um, what you have been told and what you may have read about the security field. The money's there. The jobs are there. You just have to get your experience in and you have to stay willing to learn and be teachable and continue to uh, endeavor into new certifications and never stop learning. And as long as you do those things, the sky's the limit in cybersecurity. And I think um, it's a great uh, career path for anybody who is looking to make that kind of jump. Number three, you don't need to know everything. This is one of the basics you need to understand before you get into cybersecurity. And I would even go further than that and say IT. Don't pressure yourself to the point where you think that you're not going to make it out there unless you have knowledge in every single area. I've been in the field, I work in the field, and I'll tell you one thing. Nobody, I have not met one person who knows everything. It just is not how IT works. Don't expect yourself to be like that. The typical path is that you gain a foundational knowledge of the network infrastructure security. And as you gain experience, you find a niche of your own that you enjoy inside of cybersecurity. And then you will be a subject matter expert on that subject. And that's how we all function in IT. This person knows, you know, firewalls. This person knows the VPN. This guy knows how to threat hunt. Um, this one knows how to pen test. Everybody has their own part in the machine, so to speak, of cybersecurity. So don't get down on yourself. That being said, you do need to know the basics. You need to have a clear foundational understanding of networking, routing and switching and the network space that you're going to be playing on to defend attackers from your companies. Okay, so understand that you need to know basics, but you don't need to know everything. Hey, guys, I just want to jump in real quick while you have your attention. And I want to point out that I am loving this Deity D4 microphone that I just purchased from Deity. I had a Rode before this video might go to and I did not like it at all. Uh, I'm really loving this microphone. I am not sponsored, but in case somebody out there else out there, sorry, is looking for a microphone, I'll throw it down in the description on uh, my Amazon. And I'm going to also start putting all of this setup that you see around me, everything that I buy, I'll throw it in that description so you can see it and you can buy it if you want to. Thanks, guys. Also, I do want to mention I will be linking above uh, my hacking video that I put out uh, about eight days ago, nine days ago. Um, I want you to check it out. Tell me if you like it, if you enjoy it, if it helps you in any, any way, let me know. Um, I would love to hear your feedback. So just a quick recap. Let's go over the three things that we learned from today's video about what you should be doing before you go into cybersecurity and wish, what I would have wished that I would have known myself. Number one, networking. Make sure you understand your networking and make sure you understand the playground on which you'll be playing on. Number two, the compensation. 
Make sure you understand when you get out of school what your compensation is going to be looking like. It's vital that you don't get your expectations caught up here and then shot down when you're trying to get into a new career. Number three is going to be you don't need to know everything. That you can go into IT um, comforted in the fact that while you may not know everything, that you know the basics and that you're willing to learn and that you will move forward in that mindset and you're going to be A-OK in security. Hey guys, I hope that this video helped you. As always, that's the whole point of the channel. As I always try to tell um, my subscribers and my new viewers, um, this is just tech content, um, hacking content, cybersecurity content, and it's all educational to bring um, education to other people to help folks out like people helped me. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, and thanks for always subscribing and everybody who likes and comments. Uh, I love reading every day and I try to get back to everybody I can. So thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See you.